Romans live in amphoras? I see nothing else here. Is this familiar to you? I like you, friend, but I can't help you. Swift lost his temper when he learned what happened to the statue. Daunting to see how deep the dig is. Could you help me? You and I are the economic foundation of this island. We should help each other. But I don't know what you are talking about. Somehow the text remains legible. Let's see if I remember my Latin. Sickle for harvesting. The ancient Romans honored the seasons. A goddess? A mother? Someone's wife? There were four statues here originally. I wonder what the three other statues look like. May I ask for your assistance? I like you, friend, but I can't help you. Reminds me of my father's room. A plan for this whole operation.
I see now. Mr. Swift didn't realize the significance of the statues. Not while he can see me. Seems everything's in place. Now, let's see what this has to tell us. Sharpest pickaxe. <laughs> A guilty pleasure of the real archaeologist. Missing your Laura, Mr. Swift? Who knew archaeology could be so exciting? Exciting is certainly a word. your discovery, Mr. Swift. Hey, look at this. What have you found? Don't let anyone touch anything there. Eureka! I found you, my friend.
the Romans live in amphoras? I see nothing else here. of darts, handy against rodents of all kinds. Trying to take over my research, are you? I come here to pick up my diary and I find you snooping around. Explain yourself. Mr. Swift, if that were true, I would have been on my way to the newspaper. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself properly. Outrageous! You deceived me, sir. What is the reason for your being here? Who sent you, Mr. Holmes? Theodore Gildon's premature death brought me here. Theodore is dead? How can that be possible? I'm thinking of all the possibilities, and I'm not crossing out anyone who might have been involved. Even his elephant. The land you're excavating belongs to Mr. Gildon, does it not? Did I hear an accusation? I have nothing to hide. You can ask me whatever nonsense you've prepared as a token of my diminishing respect towards you. Very well, Mr. Swift. I appreciate your cooperation. Were you at the site this morning? Affirmative. This project is taking a lot of my time, as you see. I spend more time underground than on the surface. When did you learn about Theodore's death? Just now. You just told me. And you aren't surprised? Shocked? I won't tell anyone if you shed a tear or two. Weren't you partners, after all? We were. And it is a real shame. But I've seen too many deaths in my life, Mr. Holmes, for the news to truly shake me. When was the last time you saw Mr. Gildon? A couple of days ago. We discussed the site. I believe in the tomb and its secrets. Theodore's patience was stretched, however. He was already inventing new projects. It wasn't a long conversation. I suppose that his daughter will inherit everything now, along with all of the eccentricities and problems. And not forgetting Goliath. Eccentricities and problems, Mr. Holmes. One of many. Will you allow me to return to my research, or are you insisting on remaining an obstacle? Oh, I haven't even started yet. You have a weakness for nostalgia, or rather, do you use it to record a list of enemies? Young man, you need to check your moral compass. Reading another person's diary is a sin in every culture that I can think of. But you aren't answering the question. You've already read it. Why bother? I simply record my life to keep my memory clean from misinterpretation. Letters and pages don't lie. But the writer of the text can. What's with this box of darts? Is it for a scientific arg- A little darker than that. Rather for killing the kind of rodents that might nibble a nose or a toe in your sleep. 
let's just say I have to protect myself against a larger animal, such as an elephant. Might it be enough to stop it, make it faint? If I were you, I wouldn't bank on... This book, you attempted to plan an attack on the elephant? Your insinuations are out of place. Goliath is a frightening animal. All I wished to do was to understand the creature. As any scientist would do, I researched, analyzed, and drew conclusions. Hmm. And what conclusion did you draw? That Theodore Gilden made the animal miserable. He couldn't provide the proper environment for the beast. My interest in the subject ended there. I've nothing to add. What's with this intricate recruitment process? Pro-British workers charge less? As a head of this organization, I need to secure a productive environment. It's impossible to do so if there are political differences. Especially here, where the native population doesn't support our efforts to find the ancient artifacts. Decent pay can also stimulate productivity and shut down any political discord. Hadn't you thought of that? You're young. You have time to fritter and fight with everyone you meet. I don't have such a luxury. Our workers receive enough pay for what they do. So don't start a discussion you know nothing about. As far as I can tell, you're a man of the academic world, so this book about Nabe and Laura is just an empirical... What? That nonsense? I'd prefer to lose my eyesight than read such trash. So you know nothing about it? I know nothing. I wish I'd never heard of it in the first place, this caricature of science. Do I hear traces of envy? You're still relatively young that you might find your own Laura. Perhaps I envy Nabe, for I cannot simply blow people up for distracting me. That's all. You happy now? Wonderful. Moving on. I've nothing to add. Did this plan cause a rift in your business relationship with Theodore Gilbert? Nothing like that. Admittedly, we didn't share a common vision of what is more important, the past or the future. In my opinion, we can't build a future without knowing the past. So you wanted to save the tomb of Vitus here, or perhaps your control over the research? Only the knowledge that rightly belongs to humankind, nothing less and nothing more. I'm a busy man. I've nothing to add. I've nothing to add. Have you seen this person before? The one beside Imogen Gild? No, but he's with Imogen, so I suppose that he's a friend of hers. That girl always has her head in the clouds. I could have said Theodore was different, but that wouldn't have been entirely true. Away with the fairies, was he? That's one way of putting it. Either way, I don't know much about Imogen's life or her friends. The type of elite that pretends to be educated. Remember one of the rules? It uh, seems that you didn't return a tool. Is this knife... Do I look like a fellow who carries a knife? I don't need it. There are plenty of uses for it on the site. And outside of it. I have other people to cut ropes for me, Mr. Holmes. Gildan's elephant is quite an unusual addition to Cordona's fauna. What is your scientific opinion on 
No matter how much Theodore loved it, it still remained a wild animal trapped inside a stone pen. Goliath needs savannas, fields, lakes. I'm sure that Goliath did not have a plan to kill his owner to head to the savannas. What do you think? No, animals don't kill in a typical sense. I can only presume that it tried to protect itself from captivity, from Theodore. It was a gilded cage that was predestined to break. <laughs>